we extend our best wishes to our fellow Catholics. It gives us great pleasure to have you return to our channel. I hope you have a wonderful day filled with grace in Christ. Let's join Mother Mary in prayer before we begin today's lesson. As God the Father's cherished daughter, Mother Mary, I surrender my soul to you. Keep God's life alive in your spirit. Don't allow sin to cost me that life. To ensure that all of my desires and ideas are acceptable to you, kindly guard my will and mind. The Lord is with you, Mary, full of grace. Jesus, the fruit of your womb, is blessed, and you are blessed among women. Pray for us sinners, both now and when it's time for us to die, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Amen. Imagine, dear friend, this period of reflection and hope, when the message of the Virgin Mary at Medjugorje becomes a beacon that guides the path ahead. In the face of uncertainty, we are fortunate to have warnings that push us to see past the obvious and understand the unveiled truths that will shake the world in the months to come. Our Cosmic Mother, in her infinite wisdom, forewarns us of three mysterious and worrisome phenomena that will shape humanity's destiny. As we explore these thoughts further, three key elements emerge that unlock the secrets of our fate. The first is the harmful spread of lust, a poison that corrodes many people's hearts and hovers like a threatening shadow. It draws attention to the betrayal of innocence, especially in young people, and makes us question the origins of such wickedness. In addition, the sad decline in religious careers is a clear reminder of how important it is to inculcate a love of God in the next generation. However, the lesson pushes us toward prayer and trust rather than encouraging us to give up in the face of these challenges. The Virgin Mary's divine insight predicts a divine fury that will cleanse the earth and push evil farther into the depths of evil. This becomes our refuge, our reassurance that right will ultimately triumph over wrong and our bulwark of hope. Even in the worst situations, divine light always prevails when we take into account the prophecies of Our Lady of Fatima, who foresaw the antagonism to marriage and family. Let's now concentrate on a topic that is very important to us, the Church and its leaders. The message foretells upcoming attacks on the Church's leaders' morals, holiness, and sacred hierarchy, and is specifically targeted to them. It serves as a sobering reminder of how serious the upcoming difficulties are and how they affect not just religious matters, but all of humanity. We face the keys that lead to our understanding of the impending challenges as we go through these problems. The evil development of lust, the corruption of innocence, and the tragic decline of religious vocations are not separate issues. Rather, they are interrelated issues that demand our collective attention and comprehension. As it foretells a heavenly wrath that will cleanse the earth and drive wickedness into the depths of hell, the message encourages us to strengthen our faith and turn to prayer rather than giving up on hope. We may understand how the heavenly light prevails even in the most dire situations by looking at Our Lady of Fatima's prophecies. To better understand how the three keys contribute to our destiny, let's take a closer look at them. First of all, our hearts and minds are harmed by the subtly spreading poison of passion. It's a danger that demands our thought and attention, begging us to resist its temptation and protect the innocence of our hearts. A betrayal that reverberates across society is the tainting of innocence, especially in the young and helpless. This insight challenges us to think about the causes of such evil, which both inspires and purifies us. The startling decline in monastic vocation serves as a sobering reminder of the urgent need to inculcate a love of God in the next generation. It is a call to action that forces us to foster an environment of faith and ensure that holy vocations are recognized and perpetuated across generations. However, 
The lesson pushes us toward prayer and trust rather than encouraging us to give up in the face of these challenges. The Virgin Mary's unique understanding predicts a heavenly wrath that will purify the planet and drive evil into the deepest abyss. This becomes our refuge, our reassurance that right will ultimately triumph over wrong and our bulwark of hope. Even in the worst situations, divine light always prevails when we take into account the prophecies of Our Lady of Fatima, who foresaw the antagonism to marriage and family. In the face of looming adversity, the message of hope is luminous. The Virgin Mary declares a holy wrath that will purge the earth and condemn evil to the lowest levels with heavenly understanding. This proclamation offers us consolation, fortitude, hope, and the certainty that right will ultimately prevail over wrong. We find solace in the notion that, even in the worst situations, heavenly light always comes through when we think back to Our Lady of Fatima's prophecies which foresaw the opposition to marriage and family. The addition of more forecasts by German clairvoyant Manola Strix, such as frightening visions, divine protection, and an attack on Rome, raises the depth of detail in this tale. We are urged to confront these challenges in 2024 with hope and trust, as Manola Strix's warnings represent the keys of fear protection, and the attack on Rome. This will bring us to a time in the future when looming disasters will challenge our faith. Prioritizing faith, prayer, and community becomes essential. History teaches us that even the worst circumstances may be overcome with the support of prayer and faith. Hence the Rosary, the Priesthood, and the Eucharist seem like magical keys that will guide us through the impending gloom. By discussing her interactions with Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger and Pope John Paul II, Manola Strick strengthens our belief in spiritual direction. These traditions, which transcend mere religious ceremonies, are the foundations that sustain us in trying times. Penitence serves as a protective barrier that offers a safe path to conversion and the search for divine guidance. As this spiritual journey draws to a close, sharing this message of light and hope becomes crucial. By sharing this film, we contribute to God's divine plan to bring hope in the midst of darkness. The advice of the Virgin Mary, who shines like a bright star in the gloomy night, echoes a call to action. In the midst of darkness, there are promises of supernatural intervention and a light that surpasses evil. The call for unwavering faith urges us to firmly ground ourselves in the strength of our spirituality as we navigate this sea of uncertainty and to discover an inner light that acts as our compass and illuminates the path through the impending storm. We appreciate you staying through the entire video. How do you feel about the subject of today? In addition to remembering to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon next to it, please leave a comment below so that you can be notified when the next video is released.